Let's examine how we can improve our Power BI dashboard performance by reducing the number of repetitive queries to a data source when working with slicers. First, let's understand what the problem is. I've got a very simple Power BI dashboard here that has one card visual, just showing total sales. But I have five slicers. Now when we go up and interact with the slicers, say I pick Illinois from the state slicer, it takes several seconds for the card visual to update. If I click shipping company A, again, another several seconds before we get an update. Status is closed, several more seconds. Payment type, several more seconds. And then finally taxable, several more seconds. One of the reasons it's taking so long to update that card visual, because it's not just the card visual that's being updated. Every other visual on this report page is being updated. So when you click Illinois in the top slicer, it actually has to update the company slicer, the status name slicer, the payment type slicer, the tax status name slicer, the total sales card. So it's like executing six queries just because you pushed one button. A feature that was introduced in early 2023 allows us to defer the updating of all the other visuals until the user basically says go. This is the apply all slicers feature. There are several places in Power BI to access this feature. One is you can go up to insert and in the button section, there's an apply all slicers option. And if you give that a click, this will give us an apply all slicers button in the corner and we can move it down to say right here. I'm gonna delete that because another place where you can get that button is on the optimize ribbon. And here we have a button dedicated specifically for the apply all slicers button. It puts it in the corner and we move it down. The moment this apply all slicers button is added to the report, the slicers will no longer invoke their selections automatically. So notice my total sales is 68,000. If I go up and select Illinois, the total sales is still 68,000. But notice in the heading of the slicer, there's a little note that says this slicer has not yet been applied and there's a little clock icon. If I were to click the Apply All Slicers button, at that point, the slicer choice is applied. If I were to select Shipping Company A, the total sales has not changed, but we get a note saying that the company slicer hasn't been applied. This allows me to go through and select a different status, a different payment type, a different tax status. None of these are actually applying their options. Not until I go up to Apply All Slicers and click, do all of those slicers get applied at once. So think about if we didn't have that feature, we click Illinois, six different visuals on the report have to be updated. That's six different queries. I click shipping company A, that's another six queries that have to be invoked. If I click close, another six queries. Credit card, another six queries. Taxable, another six queries. Every time I click a slicer button, it's six queries. Even if you were to select multiple buttons on the same slicer, you're still updating six objects every time you push a button. So this way I can go through make all my selections and then click the apply all slicers button and run those six queries one time. If you're going to have an apply all slicers button, it'd be nice to have a clear all slicers button. Now we don't have that as an option on the optimize ribbon, but we can go up to the insert ribbon, go to buttons, and here we have clear all slicers. This puts it in the upper left. We'll drag it down and put it right here. So now with a single click, I can remove all of the filters that were applied via those slicers. The apply all slicers button is grayed out until you actually start making some choices. So I'll choose California, Illinois, Nevada, New York, company A, company C, closed status, cash and credit card, and taxable. Once we've made all our choices, I'll click the apply all slicers button. And now we only had to run the query one time for each visual on the report page. This can greatly speed up refresh times when you're working with databases across slower connections, or especially if you're working with direct query mode with databases as opposed to import mode. When it comes to customizing this feature, there aren't really many things you can do, being that it's such a simple feature, but there are a few things that might make the experience better. First, I'll select a slicer, and then I'll go over to the format option. And under slicer header, if we scroll down, there's a category called pending icon. This was responsible for placing that notice in the upper left corner of the slicer. So if I turn this feature off, notice when I click the slicer, the heading of the slicer does not change. But if I turn the pending icon feature back on, now we see that not yet applied notice and the small icon of the clock. The small amount of customization that you can do with this pending icon is pretty much limited to the color and the position and a little bit about size. So if we were to take this and change it to red, visually it stands off the page a bit more. The user might not notice it when it was in that original gray state. If you want to increase the size a bit more or adjust the transparency. One of the things I like to do is move the icon from the right of the text to the left of the text. The reason being is, let me put it back on the right. If I were to go through and select items from the other slicers, 
Each one of them goes into this pending state. But given the lengths of the titles, these small clock icons tend to have a bit of a drift to them. What I like to do is place the icons to the left of the titles. This way they all line up. Now you could do this in bulk, you don't have to do it individually. So I'll select each visualization holding down my control key. And with all five of those slicers selected, I'll change the position to the left. See, for me, I like everything to line up. Now I made this one a little larger. I didn't apply that change to the others. So I'll select those slicers holding down control and I'll change that to 16 points. When it comes to the notification of unapplied slicers in those slicer headings, be aware of the fact that if you turn off the slicer header, you will not get those notifications. So the pending icon is dependent on the fact that the slicer header is being used. One other thing to know about the Apply All Slicers button is that it doesn't work with visualizations that you may have downloaded from the visualization store. In other words, if you were to go to the ellipse to get more visuals and download a visual like the Chiclet Slicer, this is one of my favorite ones, I'll go to the Company Slicer and change it to the Chiclet Slicer. If I click Shipping Company A, the selection appears to be lost. If I click Apply All Slicers, the choice is applied. If I choose Clear All Slicers, Notice the company slicer did not get cleared because it does not react to this particular feature. The clear all slicers button only clears native Power BI slicers, not ones that are downloaded from the store. Here's a little tip for you. If you want to return the slicers to their normal behavior, in other words, instantly applied when selected, but you don't want to remove this button to do that. If you select the apply all slicers button, then we'll go to the format section. All we have to do is turn off the action. This way the button is a dead button. Now it's just like before. I pick a state, I pick a company, I pick a status, and a payment type. Everything's back to happening instantly. I can still use the clear all slicers, but now if I want this button to work again, I'll select the button and just turn the action back on. If we expand the action section, we can see that the apply all slicers action has been assigned to this button. So looking at all the other actions, apply all slicers, this action can actually be assigned to other objects like other shapes or pictures. So if you wanted to add a giant go button up here, you could add an action and have that action be the apply all slicers action. So you're not limited to just this gray button. And it probably goes without saying that you can customize this button and make it look better. Change the font and the color and the border and shadows and things of that nature. So you can get somewhat creative. For those of you who are interested in peeking under the metaphorical hood of this Power BI engine and see what's really going on in the background, we could go up to optimize and turn on the performance analyzer. If you're not familiar with the Performance Analyzer, this is a tool that will record and display an audit trail of every action that's performed in the Power BI report, every visual that's clicked on, every visual that's recalculated, every query that's invoked. Let's use the Performance Analyzer in the way we were working with the report at the very beginning before we had the Apply All Slicers button. So I'm gonna go back to Layout and temporarily turn off the action. Now this is just a dead button. I'll go back to the Performance Analyzer. We'll start the recording and I'm going to go up and click Illinois. You can see in the activity panel that I changed a slicer and had to update eight different visuals. Now two of these were the apply and the clear slicers button. We didn't have those before, but they did have to get updated. If I pick company A, I click the slicer and eight different visuals had to be updated. I'll click closed. There's another slicer action. Eight different visuals had to be updated. Credit card, another slicer change, eight updates to visuals. Finally, taxable, another slicer change, and eight more visual updates. And each one of these updates could potentially be a complete requery of the data source. So if we were to go through and add up all of these timings, we're probably looking at about six seconds it would take to go through and update this whole report. I'm gonna stop the recording and clear that history. Let's reset all the slicers, but now I'm gonna go back to the apply all slicers button, go back to format, and reactivate the apply all slicers feature. Switch back to Performance Analyzer. Let's start a new recording. Now, just like before, I'll go up and select Illinois, and it records the fact that I have interacted with the state slicer. Company A for shipping, one object interacted with. Status closed, one object interacted. Credit card, one object interacted. Taxable, one object interacted. I can see all of the red notifications telling me that these slicers have yet to be applied. I'll go to the Apply All Slicers button, give it a click, it invokes the actual slicer change for each of those five slicers one time and then performs a series of updates for the remaining visuals on the report page. Because it only had to do this one time, there's a high likelihood that we went from the combined six to eight seconds of update time previously down to about two seconds update time. 
And don't forget, if you're doing something like direct queries on a database over a slow connection, this could mean the difference between many, many minutes of updates and many, many seconds. So that's the Apply All Slicers feature. Go back into some of your existing reports, see which ones are running slowly when you're using slicers, add this button, and retime it. You'll be pleasantly surprised how much faster your updates run. Thank you so much for watching, and remember at BCTI, the learning never stops.